Hey everyone, so a couple of weeks ago on Facebook I explained that I was going to soon be starting the A to Z film series on YouTube because it's one of those series that I think can introduce you to a lot of new films but I also find it really exciting watching other people's versions of these series thinking, you know, like, ooh I wonder what film they're going to do for the next letter. So I thought I'd give it a start and I asked on there which film I should do for A and there were quite a few fascinating suggestions but after I'd read through them all, I finally decided on Ace Ventura Be Pet Detective, which was suggested by Benjamin Morris on Facebook, so thank you for that. Um, in the comments, please feel free to leave suggestions for my B film, which I will do as soon as possible. I will also have done a written review of this, but let's get in with the video review. Ace Ventura is one of those films I probably never would have watched. It's not a film I ever gave any thought to. The fact that as Jim Carrey kind of made me think, yeah, I have to go for it, because I, I do like his work, but I just hadn't ever thought to see this and I'll say now before I go any further I thoroughly enjoyed it I really liked it but it's not a film that will ever be my favorite it just misses it's missing something that makes it just perfect and um, but having said that I have no complaints so it's just kind of it's it's a film it, it's it's not an amazing film it's not a bad film it's just a film needless to say Ace Ventura is a pet detective and basically he is a detective but he finds missing pets as opposed to missing people and when the Super Bowl's dolphin goes missing, right before the Super Bowl, Ace Ventura is called in to relocate this missing dolphin. And it leads him on quite a peculiar detective case as he tries to discover who stole this dolphin. So in terms of the concept, it is very fascinating. I don't know if that's based on truth. I imagine wacky things happen before the Super Bowl all the time. It's not exactly something that's constantly in the news in the UK over here. But, but it is an interesting concept and not what I thought it was going to be about. I was expecting a kind of Evan Almighty meets Dr. Doolittle. That's kind of what I was expecting, whereas it's not like that at all. There are very few animals in it as well. The, in the beginning, maybe in the first 20 minutes, there are a lot of different animals, all sorts of creatures. But after that, once he's called in for the dolphin, you, you will rarely see an animal. So if you're watching it as an animal lover and wanting to see loads of creatures, it's not going to happen as much. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. I guess that's the only bad thing is that for a pet detective, seldom was there a pet on the screen after the beginning. But in terms of the concept and the plot, it did work well. It did develop well and it was very surprising. The ending was not at all what I was expecting and I suppose that's always a good thing to be surprised by an ending because it means it wasn't easy to guess along the way. So that aspect of it I did enjoy. It's directed by Tom Shadjack and there are some very beautiful scenes the scene with the most animals, which is really obvious which scene that is when you watch it, is beautiful. It is gorgeous. It was kind of those, oh isn't this a nice little pleasant movie kind of moments. And it did have a touch of Dr. Doolittle and Evan Almighty about that. Um, so it is very well directed. I have no complaints with that at all. But for me it is the cast that makes it a watchable film. And uh, obviously got Jim Carrey as Ace Ventura. Courtney Cox is in it as well, which I think was the selling point for me. Um, when you left your suggestions on Facebook for me, I was looking on the IMDB pages to see which one I fancied the most. And when I saw Courtney Cox's name, I thought, right, that's what we're going for. So definitely for me, the cast is a selling point. This is 1994, so that's Friends era, you know, uh, very beginning. And she's absolutely fantastic in this, but she's not in it overly, overly so. It's not one of those films that couldn't work without Jim Carrey and Courtney Cox. I just think for me personally, the only reason I would ever watch it again is if I want to sit down and watch one of their films. I would never, I might put it on as TV background noise if it's on like a TV channel or something, but it's not a film I would, I'd reach for willingly again. However, as I said, I enjoyed it. And credit to it, it's an hour and a half in length, just a little bit less, and the time flew by, start to finish. By the time it was over, I was like, right, I'm sure that's only been half an hour or something. Um, so it, it did go very, very quickly, and that's always a good thing, because it suggests you're not constantly clock-watching, um, whereas some of the longer films nowadays are a bit too long. But no, It's When Your Pet Detective is good. At present, I have no intention to watch the second one. I'm not sure if they're straightly connected or anything. I'm sure you'll be able to tell me. But no, thank you, Benjamin Morris, for suggesting this. I'm pleased I watched it. I did enjoy it. Won't watch it again, but it was good the first time. As I said, please let me know uh, what you want me to do for B. I do have a couple of suggestions, uh, but I'm, I'm going to keep them to myself. If somebody suggests what I want to watch, I will do it. If not, I will pick one of your suggestions. Let me know, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.